Okay, and then we have this camshaft removal and this is like intake camshaft and that is exhaust. And we start that job that we open first the poles in here and in here and then we go directly in here and these are final poles. And the idea is that when we open poles in that way then there is low risk that this camshaft bends in badly. Okay, and I take my 10 millimeter this socket and I start to open this line and that line first. Okay, here is 10 millimeter socket and my electric impact driver. We start job in here. Okay, good. And then important thing, we have to remember just that in what way these camshaft bearings are. Look, and there are numbers. There is I5 in here. And look, this arrow, this arrow tells to us that this is towards the timing chain in here in that way. Do not ever mix these positions because these camshafts there is some worn out in all of these bearings and this is bearing inside area and there we can see oil hole in inside excellent special aloe material. And these parts goes in here and remember this arrow and now I install this in just same way in my table. Okay, this is intake and then we take away this x housed in that area. And this is x housed and in here we can see also same engineering an arrow and there is now letter I5. These are marks in letters and arrow in this way. And keep these bolts also in position. And then I take next part away in here. These what are in this position. And now there are four poles. And remember to keep these poles all are loosened. And then little bit movement. Normally this part is little bit stuck, but now it's free. Look. There are areas and also codes I1 and E1 in here. And remember that this part goes in, there is even arrow in here, directly in here, good. Okay, and then I take this next line away and remember that there is some compression in this valves in upside down that in this final area we have to open this little bit carefully. And now I open this line. Okay, one bolt comes out. That one also. Okay, now okay, and these are a little bit tight and if these bearings are tight we a little bit lift that in this way and now it opens and 
Then that one. And this is a little bit more tight, and we can carefully some plastic area to heat in here. Okay, now I take small hammer. This bearing is a little bit stuck, and I use small hammer in this side. Carefully. Okay, it moves. Okay, now it opens. Okay, good. This is fine. Next, I open this line in here. Okay, let's look. Okay, now this opens. Open that one. Okay, that one opens also. Excellent. Now we have final bearing line in here, and now it is interesting to see that how this opens, how much there is pressure in this area. And now I open a little. Now this bearing set opens well, good. And next one is in here, that area. And let's look at how this opens. Okay, that, that one opens. Opens also. Okay, it opens, but now it is a little bit stuck. Okay, now it. Okay, now it opens. Good. And now camshafts, they are free, and I can carefully move that. And I can take, this is like intake camshaft. And this one is exhaust camshaft. Opens nicely. Excellent. And then we can see in here this interesting, this L system in here down array.